up everyone it's your girl satin and i'm back with another video to convince you to go natural with satchels so don't forget to like share subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the amazing content i have coming your way and keep our family growing i hope everyone is doing well and i'm back so you know what that means it's another day of herbal and skincare tips and tricks for you so on this channel we've gone over all the types of skincare tips and tricks that you can use and utilize to, you know, up the ante on your skincare routine and keep your skin in its optimal condition. However, we have not discussed ways that you might be making mistakes in your skincare. So today we're going to address 12 skincare mistakes to avoid. Skincare is pretty interesting because it is really to be tailored to whatever your skincare needs are. So what might work for me might not work for you. And I think that often we treat skincare as like a one size fits all type routine and it shouldn't be that way. Having the right skincare regimen is just as important as knowing how to use it. And you don't want to fall victim to these common skincare mistakes. Mistake number one. Dipping your fingers into your product jars. If your foundation or eye cream come in a glass jar, don't dip your fingers inside of it. Even if your hands are clean, you could really be unknowingly transferring bacteria and oil to your creams. So it's best to use a spatula, a scoop, or a fresh cotton swab, which each use of anything that you're putting on your face, especially around your eye area. Mistake number two. Rubbing and pulling too much at your skin. Rubbing and pulling your face puts stress on the skin. And we do it daily without even really thinking about it. You know, from like holding the skin around the eyes tight while applying your eyeliner or rubbing in your eye cream or even rubbing at your skin, especially in like delicate areas. So you want to make sure your skin does not lose elasticity over time, and if you continue to rub it too hard, this can really be what happens. Mistake number three, not cleaning your cell phone regularly. I know people are like, what does my cell phone have to do with skin? But you put this phone to your face all the time, so any bacteria that it catches is actually going to be transferring to your skin. So think about how many times a day you touch your cell phone. Wipe down on the screen, and do things like that. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning your screen at least once a week, if not daily. I totally recommend daily. I even carry around little antibacterial wipes that I'll commonly like wipe my phone down with. And I also got this UV sanitizer that you can put your phone and other small objects in. And it'll clean all the bacteria off of them. And that has become something that I use quite frequently. And it's very handy. And household cleaners can damage your phone screen, so make sure you look for a phone-friendly option. Mistake number four is exfoliating too often. So yes, exfoliating does help increase cell turnover to bring, you know, like fresh skin cells to the surface. But daily exfoliation can actually irritate your skin. So I totally recommend exfoliating once twice at most per week and you can increase if needed but you don't want to really do it more than that and then focus on like any rough or textured problem areas that you might be having number five ignoring signs of dehydration tight and flaky skin is a huge indicator of dehydration so you want to introduce a hyaluronic acid-based hydrator to your regimen before you apply moisturizer both morning and night to give dehydrated skin a boost in water content. Mistake number six, not cleaning your makeup brushes. I cannot stress this enough. Oil and makeup build up on your brushes. So wiping the surface in between uses with an alcohol-based cleaner is the best thing that you can do for your skin. Skin. It's going to help extend the time between washes, but you don't want to skip those deep cleans, right? So wash your brushes with soap and water at least once a week to release any buildup that it may have in that gunk. And you don't want that gunk going on your face. And you can also even use something like baby shampoo or a gentle Castile cleaner. 
Number seven, applying skincare in the wrong order. I've gone over this before in my previous video where I went over my surefire skincare routine that you should do at least once a week. And I went over how you should apply your cleanser, your moisturizer, in what order. And I will be linking that in the description box below for anyone who's interested in watching it. But applying products in the right order will help you get the most out of your skincare routine. So, for example, serums are intended to penetrate the skin while the SPF will lay on the surface from the sunscreen. So, you wouldn't want to apply the sunscreen first. You want to apply it after. So, you must also especially be very gentle with eye cream. And I'm going to keep emphasizing that. Number eight, skimping on SPF. We could not make a skin mistakes list without mentioning sun care, right? And you know, if you watch my previous videos, I did an entire segment on the importance of protecting your skin from UV rays and wearing sunscreen to moisturize and protect your skin daily. You get sun exposure every day without even realizing it in your car, sitting by a window, walking your dog. So applying sunscreen daily to all exposed areas of your skin is extremely pertinent to maintaining good skin care and also preventing things like skin cancer. And don't forget to reapply. Using the wrong products for your skin. Is your skin out of whack? You might want to take a look at your basic skincare regimen. You could be using products that are made for dry skin if you have oily skin, and that's not going to work. Dry skin needs conditioning ingredients, while oily skin needs purifying ingredients. So you want to figure out what your skin type is and pick the best lineup for your skincare routine. Only moisturizing at night. Many women only moisturize their skin at night and not in the morning after they wash their face. This is very often something that happens because they're applying makeup in the morning and think the moisturizer will oversaturate or over moisturize their skin and keep their makeup from staying on. That is not fact. I will tell you that applying makeup to dry skin is probably one of the worst things you can do. You want to put that moisture on so that you can provide a layer of protection before adding that makeup that's going to put that extra buildup onto your skin. Number 11. Another common mistake we make is sleeping with a cotton pillow. Do you know that pressing your face onto a cotton pillow case causes trauma to the skin and causes creases as your collagen breaks down? That's why we advise you to switch to a silk or satin pillow case. They present a kinder and cleaner surface for resting your cheeks on, and they can generally help to reduce frizz and hair breakage as well, so you're getting two for one. I understand that life is busy and sometimes other things take priority. But to have glowing and healthy skin, it's important to make our skincare routine a top priority and be very consistent, which means doing it daily. And honestly, for me, less is more, even if you just stick to the basics. You want to cleanse, you want to moisturize, and you want to apply sunscreen. Doing these three things will do wonders for your skin. This concludes my list of skincare mistakes that you should avoid. And I'm pretty sure that you're guilty of committing at least one or two of these as I have been and still am sometimes. I hope you learned something from this video and I convinced you to come go natural with Satros. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you can stay up to date. Peace.